Powerful People Encyclopedia Galactica presents biographies of notable people in the galaxy. This week, Arissa Lavigny Duval. She's the big cheese of the Empire, the ne plus ultra, the tippest of the top of Imperial society. If the people of the Empire formed a metaphorical human pyramid, with Imperial slaves standing resignedly at the bottom, Imperial citizens standing on the slaves' shoulders, senators standing precariously on the citizens' shoulders, and the Imperial family wobbling frantically on the shoulders of the senators, then Emperor Arissa Livigny Duval would be the pointy bit at the top of the pyramid, the flyer, the stunt athlete striking poses at the top just before the whole edifice collapsed in a flurry of flapping togas under the weight of all that wealth and privilege. But how did she get up there? up on top of that wobbly pyramid. On the 20th of December, 3300, back during the reign of Emperor Hengist Duval, and not long after said Emperor Hengist's health had taken a sudden turn for the worse, Princess Arissa suddenly remembered that she was not, after all, the daughter of Prince Aristide de Livigny, but was instead quite closely related to the rapidly sickening Emperor. In a father-daughter sort of way. Shortly after, the rapidly fading Emperor Hengist declared that his dissolute playboy son Prince Harold was not of sound mind and was unfit to be a future emperor. Shortly after that, the emperor announced that he was to marry Prince de Lavigny's widow, Florence Lavigny, legitimising Arissa and catapulting her into pole position just as the current emperor was on the point of vacating the big gold chair due to terminal ill health. Princess Arissa made clear her loyalty to the dying emperor. We are only days from the emperor returning to the public stage, she said. Trying to debate about what might occur if he were to die in these intervening days is both rude and disrespectful of our emperor. I look forward to many years in service of Emperor Hengist Duval, in whatever capacity he deems appropriate. If ever there was someone eyeing up a vacancy and licking their lips, that person was Princess Arissa as she made that speech. It took Emperor Hengist quite a while to die, but not quite long enough for the marriage to take place. When the Emperor was helped on his way to Emperor Heaven just before the wedding by a collaboration between a supporter of rival diva Princess Aisling Duval, Arissa's niece and daughter of the disowned Prince Harold, and a long, sharp knife, Princess Arissa was for a while not entirely sure whether she would gain the popular support she needed to take the top spot. It turns out the Imperial stabbing was counterproductive, swinging support away from Ashling and over to Arissa. When Princess Ashling's lover, Senator Denton Petraeus, switched his allegiance, Princess Arissa became a shoe-in. On the 18th of October 3301, Emperor Arissa Lavigny Duval was crowned the 16th Emperor. After Henson, brother of Marlin, Saik, Truscan, Hennick, Lucius, Anders, Hender, Truscan the Second, Truscan the Third, Alban Hensard, Galen Truscan, Atticus Obelan, Hender Syke, Hesketh, and Hengist. Citizens not only of the Empire but all citizens of the galaxy were invited to bestow the new Emperor with gifts of slaves both imperial and the more wretched sort, a lovely, inclusive gesture that warmed hearts across the galaxy. Arissa is an emperor of very few words. She generally lets Senator, now Admiral, Denton Petraeus, speak for her, be it about the need to work together to defeat the Thargoids, about the unauthorised plan from Princess Aisling Duval to marry a federal ambassador, or about the troubling discovery that she has a nephew, 
Hadrian Duval, who could, in the wrong light, and if you weren't careful, be seen to have a more valid claim to be Emperor than Arissa herself. But on the 25th of January 3305, the day of the bloodbath in the Senate, when everyone who had supported Hadrian Duval, his Nova Imperium movement, and the mysterious Imperator, the power behind the rebellion, it was Emperor Arissa who stood in the epicentre of the carnage and proclaimed in a clear, loud voice, There is no Nova Imperium. There is only... The Empire. Emperor Arissa Lavigny Duval, it's an I, not a Y in Arissa, and Lavigny Duval isn't hyphenated. Known by some as the Imperial Hammer, has remained totally silent on all matters for more than a year now. There are rumours that she may have been quietly assassinated and replaced by Hadrian Duval, who remains at large. The reality is probably far more mundane. She's indoors, playing Animal Crossing, and just doesn't have time for all that Empire nonsense. Tune in next week for another of the Galaxy's Powerful People. <laughs>